Welcome back to another family and kid devotion time with me, Pastor Kevin of Trinity Lutheran in OMAC. I'm standing in the entryway of our church where we pass by all the time on, on Sunday morning and, and during the week. And behind me, of course, are pictures of guys, guys with dates under their names. And, and, and in fact, these dates are kind of old. There's this guy over here, Red Stern. He served this congregation in the year 1911 to 1917. In fact, if you're thinking to yourself, the congregation hasn't been around that long, you'd be right. Our, our name and, and our charter don't begin until 1924. That man actually came here before there was a real church building and, and a, that many people. Yeah, and it, and it starts with Mr. Stern, and it goes throughout the years, and I'll just turn you a little bit, of course. You see more recent pastors, maybe some you'd recognize. And this wall is always very humbling for me. I'm only here because these guys were here. This church is here because those guys were here. And I think a lot of times we can, we can remember people in our lives, but we forget who came along before them. And what happened back in 1911 and in 1920 and 1930, more than about 100 years ago, has shaped who we are today, why there's still a church here. These guys, they did countless sermons. They did countless weddings and funerals and baptisms. And, and now, of course, I humbly get to be the next guy in line. And you are perhaps the next in line in, in a story of faith, too. Your parents, your grandparents, your, your great-grandparents, who had faith. Or maybe you're, you're going to be the start. Maybe you're going to be kind of like this guy. And after you will come many people who will know Jesus. And because of what you did, how you shared and how you lived. That's why your, your parents and your teachers always say, the future is with our children. It really is. It's with the children. It's with the young adults. It's with the parents. It's, it's with the elderly. The future is what we make it, no matter how old we are. I'm reminded of what, what Paul wrote to Timothy in one of his letters. Timothy was, was an up-and-coming pastor. He said, I have been reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother Lois and is in your mother Eunice. And I am persuaded now lives in you also. Your faith is very precious. Your faith can impact people for future generations. These people all, they all told people about Jesus. And that's what we do too. God's blessings to you. Happy to share this, this wall with you. And Lord, Lord willing, you too will you'll see the impact of your faith in the lives of others for generations to come, even if you are listening to this and you're just a kid. Thanks for listening. Let's say a little prayer. Dear Lord, we, we thank you for our faith. Help us to share it and live it for years to come. Amen.